Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana, the podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, everybody. I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. In this episode, I'd like to include some food and cooking vocabulary. And with a mini story, you will improve your English fluency. You'll see. It's like having a conversation with another person. You know, when I enter the kitchen, the first thought I have is, Why am I here? Yeah, I'm hungry. That's why. Now I remember. I open the refrigerator and start scanning for some delicious food. Since I don't buy ready-made food, I usually stare at the fridge for some minutes until it starts beeping. Then I close it and open it again to continue scanning. And I'm not saying my refrigerator isn't well organized. It's just that I'm looking for something that I can prepare in one minute or preferably even less. Many times, I end up making a green smoothie. That's a fast and easy way of getting all the needed nutrients. And plus, smoothies are delicious. By the way, a smoothie is a thick drink that you can make using fruits, vegetables, greens, seeds, milk, ice, etc. Like I said earlier, I usually end up making a green smoothie. Don't panic. It's green, but it's really yummy. I add some water or milk, one avocado, half a cup of pineapple, half frozen banana, two cups of spinach, and half a cup of ice cubes. I put it at speed 10 for 45 seconds, and the smoothie is ready. Delicious. By the way, in case you were wondering, I use a Vitamix blender to prepare my smoothies. And I don't use it only for that. I also make frozen desserts with it, soups. I can make flowers with it, almond milk, batters, dough, nut butter, juices, dips, etc. It's very versatile. When I'm not in a mood for a smoothie, and I want to eat healthy and fast, I use a pressure cooker or a frying pan. A frying pan is simply a metal pan with a handle that we use for frying foods. A pressure cooker is an airtight pot where the food is cooked quickly under steam pressure. I love using my pressure cooker because whatever I throw into the pot comes out delicious. I'm not here to promote any brands, but I'm really happy with my Instant Pot cooker. The Instant Pot is not only a pressure cooker, it's multifunctional, and I use it all the time. I even bought one for my mom, and she loves it. And you know what I like using it for? For making yogurt. Yes, I started making yogurt, and it's super simple and just delightful. I also use this machine for cooking rice, pasta, potatoes. You can steam with it and keep warm after cooking. So, how do I steam with the Instant Pot? I place some water in the pot and then I add a basket where I put the veggies. Make sure you don't add any salt into the water while you're steaming because it delays the evaporation. I just add the salt once it's cooked. I hope you're enjoying this episode. If you want me to make more episodes like this one, leave a message on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Now let's continue with a mini story. How does it work? I give you the information and I ask you simple questions. After each question, there is a pause where you can answer. After the pause, 
I give you a correct answer for you to compare. Easy, right? Well, at first, it may be a little more complicated. I recommend that you listen several times until it's easy to answer. Sometimes I call it a conversation simulator because you practice your English like in a real conversation. Let's start. Sean is 25 years old and lives in New York. Is Sean old? No, he's not old. He's 25. How old is Sean? Twenty-five. He's twenty-five years old. Less than thirty. He's still young. Does he live in San Francisco? No. He doesn't live in San Francisco. He lives in New York. Where does Sean live? Where? In New York. He lives in New York. He doesn't live in San Francisco. Sean has a problem. He doesn't have a job. Who has a problem? Sean. Sean has a problem. His problem is he doesn't have a job. Who doesn't have a job? Sean. He doesn't have a job. Sean is an accountant, but he doesn't want to work as an accountant. He wants to be a chef. Is Sean an accountant? Yes, he is. He's an accountant. Does he want to work as an accountant? No, he doesn't want to work as an accountant. He wants to do something different. Does Sean want to do something different? Yes. He wants to do something different. He wants a change in his life. He wants to work on something different. Sean wants to become a chef, but he's never cooked anything in his life. What does Sean want? Does he want to go to an island? No, no. He doesn't want to go to an island. Does he want to become a chef? Yes. Sean wants to become a chef. Has he ever cooked anything before? No, no. Sean has never cooked anything before in his life. Does he really want to become a chef? Yes, he wants to become a chef. Sean wants to work on something different. The next day, Sean enters a restaurant to ask if they need a chef. After 20 minutes, he's hired. Did Sean walk into a bar? No, no. He didn't walk into a bar. He entered a restaurant. Did Sean ask 
If they needed a waiter, no, no. He asked if they needed a chef. Did Sean get the job? Yes. Surprisingly, Sean got the job. He got hired. After how many minutes was he fired? After ten minutes. No, no, he wasn't fired. He got hired after twenty minutes. It turned out to be a creative cuisine restaurant, so Sean made some very original dishes with an amazing flavor. What kind of restaurant did it turn out to be? A Japanese restaurant. No, no, it turned out to be a creative cuisine restaurant. Was Sean creative? Yes, apparently he was creative because he got hired. How were his dishes? Were they traditional? No, no, they were not traditional. They were creative. Did they taste bad? No, they tasted very good. They tasted amazing. Perfect. It's the end of this mini story, and as you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. Let me ask you something: Is my podcast helping you with your English? Though the podcast is a useful resource. I can hardly develop these lessons because of time limitations. Although they allow you to try out my method, so if you are serious about learning English, I recommend you my premium courses. Get my English courses at speakenglishpodcast.com/courses. That's all for today. Take care. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast dot com.